Hi, I'm Cole, Marketing Director at Citizen Remote. We're a company of digital nomads and remote workers like you. And today, I'm going to talk to you about 10 things you'll want to know if you're thinking of applying for a Portugal digital nomad visa, called the Portugal Temporary Stay Visa. What's the difference between a Portugal digital nomad visa, a D7 visa, and a tourist visa? The Portugal Digital Nomad Visa is for those with a remote job based outside of Portugal, and it will allow them to keep working it while they are in Portugal. The D7 visa is for those with a passive income, and the tourist visa is not for those working while they're in Portugal. How long does the visa last, and is it possible to extend when it's over? Although the visa only lasts for four months, it will allow you to enter the country and apply for a temporary residence permit. This can be extended for a maximum total of five years. How much money a month do you need to make to qualify for the Portugal Digital Nomad Visa? The income requirement is four times the Portugal minimum wage, which is currently 705 euros. This makes the income requirement 2,820 euros per month. However, this is set to raise in the future to 760 euros. This will raise the income requirement to just over 3,000 euros per month. This is possible to be changed in the future, so keep your eyes on the Portugal minimum wage and Citizen Remote for all your updates. How long does it take to complete the entire application process? The application process will take anywhere from three to six months and will vary depending on factors such as bank processing speeds and government processing speeds. So be sure to plan ahead when applying. Can you apply for the visa while abroad? You must be in your home country or the country that you hold a temporary residence permit in when you apply. When you apply for the temporary residence permit in Portugal, you will need to apply in Portugal. How can you pay the visa fee and in what currency should you pay for it? If you apply in person at an embassy, they will provide you with all the details you need to make your payment and you'll pay in your local currency. If you apply through Citizen Remote, you can pay with a bank transfer, debit, credit, PayPal, Apple Pay, or other forms of digital payment. Will you get a refund if your application is denied? Well, you will not get a refund if you apply on your own. If you use Citizen Remote, you are eligible for partial reimbursement if your application is denied. Can US or UK citizens travel to Portugal without a visa? Yes. Portugal is part of the Schengen Zone. This means that U.S. and U.K. citizens can travel for up to 90 days without a visa. Is there a digital nomad community in Portugal? Yes. Portugal has a very strong digital nomad community, especially in places like Lisbon and Porto. And to get the most out of your travels there, check out the Citizen Remote app, which makes it even easier to find all the hotspots and digital nomads near you. Do you need proof of a COVID-19 vaccination or negative test to enter Portugal? No. Portugal has lifted all of its COVID-19 travel precautions. That means that you can enter the country with or without proof of a negative test or vaccination. Those are the 10 things that we think you'll want to know if you're thinking of applying for a Portugal Digital Nomad Visa. As always, you can find more info in the article on our website or by booking a consultation with us. And be sure to leave all your questions about the visa in the comments below. And if you want to know more about digital nomad visas, check out one of our other videos or subscribe for more information. Again, I'm Cole, and thank you for choosing Citizen Remote. To learn more about digital nomad visas or to see if you qualify for one, visit citizenremote.com.